Now the TV is gone. First it was the microwave, then my computer, then our mini fridge in the garage, and now this. Who the heck? Is doing this. Like Zex, the TV really is gone. Yes, the frick it is shaggy. It seems that someone keeps breaking into our house every single night and taking a single item. What the? Now there's no TV. You know what, Fred? I'm starting to suspect it's you doing this to prank us. Oh my god. Are you seriously blaming this on me, Daphne? What kind of prank would that even be? It's someone else that keeps breaking in and taking our stuff. But wait, if it was a burglar, why would they break in multiple times and only take one thing each time? That would be really risky for them. I'm not saying it's you Fred, but maybe it's someone else we know doing it to mess with us. Like what if Kai and Dora? Oh, uh, oh. oh hi, bet those pieces of crap are pranking us and stealing our stuff in the process. That's it. I'm going over to Caillou's house right now to confront him about it. Like wait, don't you remember what happened the last time you made Caillou mad? Like we got locked in here and almost starved to death. And we could have gotten out right away if you had actually used your brain and remembered you had a spare house key. No, but Shaggy has a point. If you go and beat them up or whatever, they're definitely going to get revenge. And who knows what they'll do this time. Yeah, I agree. People, listen to yourselves. You're literally acting scared of a four and a seven year old. What's the worst they could do? I don't know. Maybe Dora would drive a semi truck into our house like she did in Times Square? Yeah, Fred. They've done insane things and are capable of God knows what else. Please, just don't ruin it for us all. Ugh. You know what? Fine. I won't confront or beat the crap out of them. But then what do we do? I don't know. Maybe we should go to these certain people called police. It's just a guess, but they might be able to help. I freaking hate your sarcasm so much. Fine, I'll just call the cops. Hold on, who is this? It's Fred Jones. Someone is stealing from... What do you mean I'm on my own? Look man, you're supposed to be in jail for like three separate crimes, but we just can't find a way to successfully detain you. Therefore, we're not gonna serve you either. What? So you legit don't even care that my house is being broken into? You're really gonna be like that, huh? Yes we are. As I said, you're supposed to be in jail, so the least we can do is refuse to serve you as punishment. What the f***? I can't f***ing believe what I am hearing right now. You know what you piece of s***? You know the hell what? If I'm already supposed to be in jail like you say, let me give you one more reason to say that. So, what do we think he's going to do? Like destroy the police station probably. What's up everybody? Did you forget who you were dealing with? You refused to help me out, so now you're going to face the wrath of the concussion beast. <laughs> Hey guys, the police have been dealt with. And check out what I've got in the back of the van. Do I even want to know? Just come outside and see. Well, check it out. Besides giving everyone in the police station a concussion, I also looted the entire place. I'm gonna pun all of this so we can buy back all our stuff that got stolen. Fred, you can't just keep stealing from people like this. Yes I can. I'm the concussion beast, so who's gonna stop me? I guess no one, but did you really have to do this? Yes I did. It's the only way for us to get our stuff back since the police wouldn't help us. They deserve it for that anyway. Like wait a minute. If we just buy a new stuff, like how do we stop it from getting stolen again? I'm glad you asked that Shaggy. That brings us to the second part of my plan. All of this stuff combined is worth way more than what we lost. So we're gonna use the extra money to go on vacation while we wait to make sure Caillou and Dora are definitely done. Heck, even if they decide to steal something else, I'm confident we'll have enough extra money to replace it too. That's a decent idea. Then we won't have to go without a TV while we wait. Exactly. OMG yes. I would so totes love to go on another vacation. Yeah, that doesn't sound so bad. Well then. I'll get all this stuff to the pawn shop and then we can decide where to go. One hour later. Ugh, 
that took freaking forever because the pawn shop owner had to call in his buddy who is an expert on stolen items from the police station. Anyway, do you guys have any vacation spots in mind? Like we were thinking San Francisco. Holy crap, that sounds so fun. I'd love to get mugged by a bunch of drugged up homeless people. I'm sure the whole place isn't like that Fred. Plus, it looks like a beautiful city. It's where the Golden Gate Bridge is you know. Yeah, I would so love to take a bunch of selfies there. Yeah, I agree that it would be really nice to go there. I think we've decided Fred. Well I haven't. I swear, I should have known you'd just get set on a location without me. Why didn't I make you all come with me to the pawn shop? I don't know, but you didn't. Where would you rather go anyway? I'd love to go on a cruise and get insanely freaking drunk for a week straight. Lame. Yeah, like I'm not feeling being stuck on a ship nearly the whole time. Me neither, Fred. You're outnumbered anyway. Let's just go to San Fran. Alright, fine. We'll go to your stupid San Francisco. Let's book the plane tickets right now. The next day. How did they take the mother freaking fridge? How? I want to punch those pieces of trash so hard they fly into space. Wow, I honestly didn't expect them to be able to take something that heavy. Like Zedinx, they took the fridge and everything in it. Oh my god, you are so right. That means they stole all of my beer too. How about you stop screaming you loud piece of crap? You just woke me up. Did you seriously just get up? We have to leave for our flight in literally 10 minutes. You're lucky I did yell, or else we would have all left without you. No we wouldn't have. Wait, are you serious? I still have to pack all of my stuff. Well, there's no way you're going to be able to pack in time now. I guess you can just buy stuff once we get there. No, don't listen to her Daphne. I'm sure it'll be fine. What makes you say that, Fred? Because, what's ten or so more minutes? We've already arranged everything so we're not cutting it close anyway. It'll be fine if we let Daphne pack. Well, I suppose you're right. Like that's oddly nice of you, but I agree. Well then gang, why don't we get the luggage in the van in the meantime? Sure. Well Fred, that's really nice of you to let Daphne pack, and I agree. We'll still have no problem being on time. Like I just hope she doesn't take too long though. Well guys, while we're waiting, do you wanna see something really funny? Yeah. Is it a funny video or something? <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, I knew there was no way you were that nice. Turn the van around right now. No, I don't feel like it. But like we can't just ditch Daphne like this. Why not? I'm giving her what she wanted. She complained about me waking her up, so I'm simulating what would have happened if I didn't. Come on, there was no way we were going to just leave without her. I would have woken her up if nothing else. I couldn't give any less of a crap Velma. That narcissistic piece of garbage is annoying as all hell anyway, so it'll be a good riddance. You guys on the other hand, don't annoy me that much. Like can we stop at that McDonald's up ahead? Never mind. Like why'd we stop here? This isn't McDonald's. Did you seriously just throw Shaggy out of the van? Fred, I'm not letting you drive off without- Well, now it'll be a peaceful drive. Two hours later. Wow. Just wow. This is a new low even for Fred. Agreed. I just hope he didn't cancel our tickets. What's up you freaking idiot? Dang it. I really thought I was going to have a peaceful vacation for once. So you were literally going to leave without us? Huh. Well, do we still have our plane tickets? Yeah, you do. I thought I'd at least give you all a chance to catch back up. Well, that's a relief at least. Like I hope we take off soon. I feel like this flight's been boarding forever. I know. Hey, do any of you guys up there have chapstick? Like let me check in my carry-on real quick. Yeah, like I have a lip balm. You have a lip what? Balm. I have a balm. <gasps> Shaggy, you did not just say that. Wait, like, I meant... 
Ladies and gentlemen, we've just gotten word of a bomb threat on board and we now need to evacuate the aircraft. That's great Shaggy, just great. Now this flight is over and we're most definitely going to have to get patted down in question for hours before we're allowed on another one. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening right now. We're legit going to sit through hours of interrogation and then start all the boarding crap all the way over. We're starting over! I don't give a f We're starting to f over! Right the f out! We're starting over! Come on! You want to start over? F everything up? Come on! Fred, look what you just did. Now we're really screwed. Crap, you're right. Run to the van, everybody. Why'd you have to do that? We were probably just going to deal with a delay, but now we're going to be wanted for property damage. I don't know Daphne. I just got really mad in the heat of the moment. But it's not like the police can stop me anyway. Um, guys. Like we never got scooped back from the cargo hold. God freaking dang it. Well, I guess we have to go back for him. Yeah, and then we can turn Fred into the cops that are probably at the airport right now. Oh, you're not even gonna get a chance to see the cops Daphne, because I have a different plan in mind. And what would that be? You see that fenced off area up ahead? That's the tarmac of the same airport we just left. I don't like where this is going. Ah! Zanks, 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 we're led you on the runway. OMG, OMG. Fred, we can literally get hit by an airplane any second right now. Get us out of here. No, we have to get Scooby. Look to the left. Which one of those planes do you think was ours? Just get us off the runway, you absolute psychopath. Which plane was ours? The sooner you help me out here, the sooner we can get off this runway. Fine. I think it was that red and white plane just up ahead. You're too stupid for me to trust you, Daphne. What the heck? Daphne's got the color right, but it was actually the next one ahead of the plane, she said. I recognize the gate number. Okay. All right, let's get the heck out of here. What on earth happened? Well, Shaggy decided it would be a good idea to say he had a bomb on the plane, so they had to evacuate everyone. That still doesn't answer why you drove the freaking van down the runway to come pick me up. Yeah, because what really happened was- Okay, fine. So I might have gotten a little mad about the delay and flipped a desk over in the airport. That's why we ran out and came back on the runway to get you. Because I didn't want to deal with the airport staff or police trying to bill me for the damages. But it's no big deal, because we'll just go to a different airport. Wow. I can't say I'm surprised. Fred, you do know that airports can contact other airports, right? So what? So, the airport we went to might warn the other airports about you. Meaning you have just as much of a chance of getting caught and billed at a different one. Nonsense. We're gonna go to a different airport and it's gonna be fine. Like I don't know man, I think Velma may be right. Just shut up. One hour later. Next. Whoa whoa stop right there. Are you the Scooby-Doo gang? Yes we are. Why? I think you know why already. You destroyed property after making a bomb threat at another nearby airport. And there are police looking for you right now. Well who cares? I'm the unstoppable concussion beast, so the police don't stand a chance against me anyway. I don't know why they're even wasting their time looking. Well, they notified us and said they wanted to bill you for the damages, as well as find out what the bomb threat's all about, and to not let you fly until they do so. Look, like there was never a bomb threat. I was talking about lip bomb and it sounded like bomb. And do you know what Shaggy? This wouldn't have happened if- Like I know, it wouldn't have happened if I had been more clear. Jeez I just don't want to hear it. No. It wouldn't have happened if Daphne hadn't needed her stupid lip balm to begin with. Are you seriously trying to put this on me? Look, either talk to the cops and pay, or get out. You're holding up the line and people need to get to their flights. How about neither you stupid piece of crap? Let us fly right now. No. If you don't let us fly right the f now, I'm going to hijack a plane. Fly to New York City, and give them another day to remember. Leave. Now. No. What are you gonna do? Huh? 
have me arrested. No jail is strong enough to hold me. Speaking of being arrested, Fred, you're going to get the rest of us thrown in jail at this rate. Let's just leave. Oh my god. You know what? Fine. We'll just drive all the way to San Francisco. Come on, gang. Let's go. Wait. <laughs> Well gang, I guess this is what we are doing now. We are freaking driving to San freaking Francisco. F my life. And guess what? This wouldn't have happened if- SHUT UP! Like how long of a drive is this gonna be? Who knows? Days probably. According to my calculations, this drive is going to take 1.7436436724678. days. We'll have to stay at a motel at some point. Screw that. We're sleeping in the van. I'm not spending one more penny on anything because I don't want to run out of money to replace our stuff. Well, isn't this going to be just miserable then? Even more so than it was already. Like we missed lunch with a whole flying ordeal. Like why don't we stop at the next McDonald's we see? I'm with that idea. Me too. I'm freaking starving. Me as well. Jesus people. It's already going to take forever to get there. But now we have to stop at crappy fast food places along the way? Come on. Well what are we gonna do? Just not eat for like two days. If you don't stop at the next McDonald's, I'm going to throw out all your beer when we get home. Caillou and Dora stole it already. But you know what? Fine. We'll stop at your favorite trash serving restaurant. Good. But only on one condition. If you have to stop for your stupid fast food, then you're going to have to deal with me driving like an absolute maniac the rest of the trip. That way, we can't make up for the time we'll have lost at those restaurants. Like what do you mean drive like a maniac? Jinkies, you just ran a red light across a railroad. Zarius. Fred, you can't drive like this. You are literally going to get us all killed and possibly kill someone else. Do you honestly think I care, Daphne? It's either we get McDonald's and I speed and drift, or we don't stop for any food and I drive normally. How about we eat as well as drive safely like normal freaking people? No can do. Oh my god. What is with all this food? If you idiots waste all of the money on McDonald's before we get to San Francisco, I'm going to flip. Yeah, me and Daphne's orders weren't as big. Wait a second. So you're telling me this is all Shaggy and Scooby's food? Yeah, we didn't get our orders yet. Wow. Just wow. I shouldn't even be surprised. I mean seriously Shaggy and Scooby, what's with you always wasting my money on 500 pounds of McDonald's? It needs to freaking stop. I think what needs to stop more is your insane driving Fred. Yeah, that's true. Jesus Christ, are you guys seriously bringing this up again? I already said, it needs to happen so we can't make up for the time we're wasting at McDonald's. But like weren't you the one who insisted we eaten here instead of just going through that drive through Well yeah, because I don't want to breathe in a freaking heart attack the whole drive. And it's fine because my fast crazy driving will just make up for it. The psychotic driving seriously needs to stop, according to my calculations. If you continue to drive like that, We'll have a 95.54784378847% chance of dying before we reach our destination. I don't give a crap. I'm going to drive how I want to drive and there's nothing any of you numbskulls can do about it. Our skulls probably will be numb after slamming through the windshield. You know what Fred? If you're not going to stop your dangerous driving, then I'm going to go do something about it myself. And just what are you gonna do? <laughs> Man, I don't even know what I'm going to do. A classic car dealer, I'm not sure, but I think they might have something that would solve all this. Like me and Scooper finally full. Took you long enough. Come on, let's get the heck out of here. But wait, what about Vilma? She's probably still outside being mad. I'm not going to wait any longer for her to finish her food, so just bring it outside with you. Well, okay. Oh, hi guys. Vilma, where the heck were you? Just taking care of something that needed to be dealt with. Like what? 
Does it have something to do with Fred's insane driving? It sure does. Well, I don't know what you could have done, but I'm going to the van. A few moments later. What the f Why is the mystery machine gone? Did you seriously sell it so I wouldn't have anything to drive? You still have something to drive, Fred. You see that classic car dealership over there? I just traded it for something a bit safer for you. You actually traded my van? You have got to be freaking joking. And what do you mean the new car is safer for me? Either a car is safe or it isn't. Well you see, you wanted to continue to speed and drift around every corner, so I got something you can't do that in. What are you talking about? What kind of car can you not speed in? Oh god. I really hope it's not what I'm thinking right now. Well there's only one way to find out. They have it sitting in the middle of their garage right now for us to pick it up, so let's go. Wow, a new car? I would so love that. I can't tell you how tired I am of the mystery machine not having air conditioning or any phone chargers. Daphne, I can almost guarantee you that whatever this is doesn't have either of those things. I'm just hoping it's from at least the 1950s. Let's just go see it. I'm curious. Like me too. All right then guys, follow me. Fred, you coming? I don't want to. You traded my van without permission for frick's sake, and I'm legit scared to see what you got instead. Just come on, you're gonna have to see it at some point. Fine. No, stop! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Me! What am I doing with my life? I could be doing anything, but... No! Oh my god! No! 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 Still no! no! What? You're not happy with it. What the f***? Seriously? What the actual f***? Do you have any idea how much more miserable this trip is going to be trying to drive this ancient pile of garbage? I doubt it'll even make it to San Francisco for frick's sake. Why would you buy this piece of trash? Why? Because there's no way you're drifting or speeding in this. And it's not a piece of trash. It's a piece of history. This is a Ford Model T, the first car to be ma- I don't give a crap what it is. I'm demanding my van back right now. Hey, give me my van back right- because it's the biggest piece of crap we've ever freaking seen, and it wouldn't be right for us to sell it to someone else. The radiator was filled with beer instead of antifreeze, and the frame is about to give out for Frick's sake. Also, I don't think it's your van anymore. It was my understanding that we got this in on trade. My idiot gang member traded it without telling me. Listen the masses, if you don't put my van back together and give it back to me right now, you're all getting concussions. Well that's just not happening. It's ours now, so get over it. Alright, so you've chosen concussions then. Wait a minute, we're the only mechanics available to work on this right now. So if you knock us out, then nobody will be able to put your POS van back together. Just put it back together right freaking now 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 now. You're stuck at a dead end dude. Your van's getting parted out and there's no way around it. Just go drive off in your new Model T. Fine. You want me to do that? I'll do that. Payback is freaking coming to you later. Well, I heard a lot of that. Didn't go too well, did it? I don't even want to look at your face right now. I mean seriously gang, can you freaking believe this? As if driving to San Francisco wasn't already bad enough. Now we have to do it in a literal 100 year old car. Shaggy, Scooby and Daphne, there is no freaking way you're okay with this, is there? Like I think it might be kinda fun. Same. Yeah, and this car might even have a phone charger and Bluetooth. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. I think she was joking, Fred. Wanna bet? I don't know. When did Bluetooth come out? Oh my god, there goes another one of my brain cells. Let's just go. Wow. Just wow. 
I didn't expect much from this car, but I at least expected it to have a normal gas, brake, and clutch pedal. This is the most backwards thing I have ever driven and if we actually get to our destination without wrecking I will be insanely surprised. Well, like I'm guessing once we get on the freeway in a few seconds, it'll be a lot easier driving wise. Wait, we're getting on the freeway. Yes, Roma. Have your eyes not been open this whole time? But this car can only go 40 miles per hour. Are you actually f***ing kidding me? I'm serious. Why would you think it could keep up with freeway traffic? I don't know. Maybe because every other freaking car I've ever seen can. Zanks, zanks, zanks like we got a pullover. Screw that. There's a ditch on both sides of this unwrap. Oh my god, here we go. I hate you, Velma. 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 Well, at least that's over. F*** you. Jeepers, I finally see the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, and it only took us five whole days to get here. Maybe if we didn't have to stop at McDonald's every 10 seconds for the food addicts Shaggy and Scooby, we would have gotten here sooner. Come on Fred, don't be so negative. We didn't even stop at McDonald's that much. The stop we just made was literally the 20th one. In five days. I have been counting. Also, maybe if I wasn't forced to drive a Mothra freaking Ford Model T, we would have gotten here twice as fast. Or even better, how about if Shaggy hadn't said he had a bomb on the plane? This trip would have been coming to a close by now. Can you just shut up? I don't know. Can you? You've been complaining and throwing temper tantrums over not being able to charge your phone this whole time. Oh no, I just realized. I forgot to charge my phone in the McDonald's. We have to go back. No the frick we don't. We're about to get to a hotel anyway, so you'll be able to charge it in there. Like what hotel are we staying at? I don't even know anymore. Maybe we'll try checking in at the one we missed the reservation to. I want to ask them for a refund anyway. Hey, do you guys have any rooms available for the next five days? We do. Did you want to check in right now? Yeah, and I also want a refund for a previous reservation that we missed. We can't give you a refund. If you make a reservation and miss it, that's on you. Yeah, that's kinda what I figured. Oh, really? Well I'm sorry, but when you're dealing with me, it's not gonna work that way. Give me a refund right freaking now or I'm trashing this entire place. Sir, there's no refunds and that's final. You can either reserve another room right now, or leave. Alright, fine. You don't have to give me a refund, but I want this room free if that's the case. You're not getting a free room or a refund. Alright, then how about this? OMG Fred, what are you doing? There, have fun getting a goddamn f***ing refund on all of that sh you should have known better than to mess with the concussion beast. Oh my god, we need security right now. You're coming with me, sir. Oh, 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 stop, 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 make it stop, the hurt so bad, stop, you can move it, up, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just leave me alone, why do you want to How long, then? Let's go to our free hotel room. You know what, Fred? I'm not even going to complain about your unethical ways anymore. Because there's no point. About time you realized. Still, why can't she just go on a trip without stealing or doing anything bad? Hold on, I just realized, you and Velma are always stealing money from me. As if either of you idiots have any right to talk about not stealing. You, he got you guys there. Shut up Scooby. You and Shaggy are always wasting my money on crap too. Well anyways. What should we do now that we're here? Like I'm craving some more McDonald's right now. Shut up. Just shut up. I for one would like to go to the Golden Gate Bridge and take a bunch of selfies. Good idea. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Like I agree. Well, I'm basically fine with anything that isn't another stop at McDonald's at this point. OMG OMG this is so freaking fun. I love bragging to everyone on Instagram. Daphne. If you take one more selfie I'm chucking your phone off the bridge. This is like the fifth one you've taken and I'm so freaking done with stopping for you. Oh yeah? Well I don't care if you're annoyed by it. You can just walk ahead by yourself if you want, 
and just to annoy you friend, I'm going to take insanely long at this location. This is selfie number 2 out of 500 at this spot. Hey. There. Have fun taking your stupid selfies now, idiot. Like that was too far. Why? No. My phone. My precious phone. I can't survive without it. You are buying me a new one right now, Fred. In your dreams. Come on, gang. Let's continue. Fred, I don't see why you had to do that. You just pretty much ruined the trip for Daphne. Well, her selfies were ruining the trip for me, so too bad. You, freaking, psycho. If you don't buy me a new one right now, I'm going to have Vilma hack your bank account again and buy myself one. Don't even think about it, Daphne. If you do that, then I can assure you that not just your new phone, but every single freaking thing you own is getting destroyed. Like what if we fish the old phone out of the ocean and put it in rice? Shaggy, how the frick did you manage to bring food into this conversation? No, it's a pretty common trick, Fred. I don't think we'll even be able to recover the phone, let alone fix it, but maybe it's still worth a try. Hold on though. How would we even be able to get out there, let alone fish the phone off the bottom of the seafloor? Like what if we'd buy a net, attach it to a rope, and then rent another boat like we did in Hawaii? There's no way that's happening. I don't want to run out of money to replace our stuff. But then what do we do? We have to get me a phone somehow. Alright you entitled waste of oxygen, how about we just steal a fishing boat and blame it all on you if we get caught? That sounds like a bad idea. It might be, but if that's the only way we're getting my phone back after this psychotic POS through it, then I'm all for it. Alright then you piece of trash, that's what we'll do. But the only reason I even came up with the suggestion was so we could be able to go to Alcatraz Island for free. We'll spend like two minutes looking for your stupid phone and then go straight to Alcatraz. I wish Alcatraz was still in operation so they could send you to it as a prisoner. Let's see if there's anything good over here. Let's see, let's see. Hey, no way. There's a net and a rope in the back of this one, guys. I think we have found the boat to take off with. May I stress just how horrible of an idea this is? For one thing, it's wrong. And two, according to my calculations. Whoa, nobody gives a shit! Now remember Daphne, we're doing this all for you. So if you get caught, it's 100% your fault. Got that? Excuse me? You literally just said this was really to go to Alcatraz Island. I didn't literally just say that. It was more like 15 minutes ago. Stop misusing the word literally like a dumb piece of crap. Shut up and actually respond to what I said. What is there to respond to? We've already established that you're the one taking all the blame for this and that's final. And if you and the rest of the gang don't agree to that, I'm going to give everyone on this boat a concussion so nobody can testify against me. Oh my god, fine. Let's just get my phone back. Well, we're coming up on the Golden Gate Bridge now. Velma, can you do some calculations to find out where Fred threw the phone? I really don't want to aid in this, but since we've already stolen this boat, Fine, according to my calculations, Fred threw the phone when we were right at that blue sign up there. How in the hell is that a calculation? Like I remember that too. Fred, like can you pull up right below where that blue sign is on the bridge? Fine. This isn't going to work at all guys. I think we've already tried enough. Like you know what they say though, the sixth time's the charm. No, they say the third time's the charm, and since we got nothing on the third try, that means it's time to give up. Let's just see what's in the net this time. No, freaking, way. OMG OMG it actually worked. And the thing even still turns on. Wow, that's nothing short of a miracle. I know, right? Sure would be a shame if... <laughs> Are you, Are you actually freaking joining me right now? Oh my god, friend, just cry. Come on, let's go to Alcatraz. <laughs> like what was the actual point of that if you were just going to throw the phone back in the water, Fred? A good laugh, that's what. Didn't you find it at least a little bit funny? Like maybe. What? See, Shaggy knows what's up. And here's Alcatraz right up ahead. Well, this is pretty cool. I guess this is where they kept the prisoners. No way, really? I thought these were hotel rooms. Fred, 
You really deserve to be locked up in one of these after what you did to my phone. I could have taken some totes awesome selfies here if I only had it. Cry about it, Daphne. Actually, why don't you do the whole world a favor and lock yourself inside a cell forever? I freaking hate you so much. Like me and Scoob are gonna check out some other areas of this place. Like I don't know about you Scoob, but this place is actually starting to freak me out a bit. Me too. I wonder if it's haunted here. Alright All right, guys, guys, follow me right, right this, this way. Zerinx. Like did you hear that just now? I sure did. So, so as, as you, you can, can see, see, this is this where, where all, all the prisoners, prisoners were. were. Feel, Feel free, free to, to look, look around, around as, as you please. please. Zanks, oh my god, oh my god. Zanks, Zanks, Zanks. Ah. Uh, what the heck is going on? Like there's ghosts in here, man. We heard voices. We need to run. Are you sure there isn't a logical explanation? What did it sound like they were saying? Like we heard a guy say, follow me right this way. And then, this is where they kept the prisoners. And feel free to look around. That's a tour, you freaking idiot. And I'm sure they just heard you scream. So we need to get the frick out of here before they catch us having pulled up unauthorized. Well, if they didn't hear Shaggy scream, they definitely heard that. Is there someone else in here? Holy crap, we've gotta run. God freaking dang it. What a short-lived trip that was. If only you hadn't screamed Shaggy. Like what difference would it have made? The chore people would have came in and saw us regardless. Well, we could have just it until they were gone. Come on now, that would have taken way too long. Whatever. We'll just have to find some other interesting place to go now. Speaking of that, I've heard of this place called Fisherman's Wharf that supposedly has a lot of cool stuff, and we can access it by boat. Well, why don't we go there? Fine. Just make sure to pull up in a discreet location in case the owner of this boat is there. I really can't believe I went along with this. So, what exactly is there to do here? I don't see the cool stuff you were talking about, Vilma. Look around, Fred. There's souvenir shops everywhere as well as some historic ships. I should have known your idea of cool stuff would be something as utterly boring as that. Like it sounds cool to me, man. Plus I heard there are a lot of restaurants with delicious food here. And I bet I could take some epic selfies. Oh wait. I don't wanna hear it, Daphne. And no freaking crab shaggy. Of course you would like literally any place with a lot of food. Well we don't wanna hear your complaining, Fred. Let's just get moving already. Like why is our old intro music playing? Don't break the fourth wall. I hope we still have enough money to replace our stolen stuff after all that crap you bought Daphne. You better hope you still have enough after buying me a new phone. Like that was some good Sikh food. I'm glad me and Scoob ordered five of everything on the menu. I don't understand why we had to get more food after having just gotten McDonald's like an hour ago. And I don't understand why you have to complain so much, Fred. Yeah, I'm with Scooby on that. Oh yeah? yeah? Maybe it's because I never wanted to come here in the first place. As I said before we left for this trip, I'd much rather be in the middle of the ocean on a cruise ship getting wasted out of my freaking mind. But can't you just try and enjoy this trip anyway? All your negativity is really ruining the vibes here. Yeah, I have to agree. All of you just shut up. I'll be as negative as you want and there's nothing you can do about it. Well everyone, I vote we kick Red out of the group for the rest of the trip. Oh my god, Daphne, are you actually freaking kidding me? You pieces of trash forced me to go to San Francisco when I didn't want to, and now you want to exclude me from the gang just because I'm not enjoying it. You could have stayed home. The whole plan was to go on vacation, you dumb piece of crap. You know what? That's it. I don't need you idiots anyway. I am going to find a way to be out on a ship getting wasted like I wanted all along. And none of you pieces of crap are invited. Way. Man, good riddance. Now to figure out how the heck I'm going to get drunk out on a ship like I wanted. I'll do anything, I'll do whatever it takes to... Time to get some alcohol before I steal the thing. Looks like they have tons of beer here just for me. Oh my 
my god, oh my god, it's crashing into something. How do I stop it? Fuck! Well, wasn't this an epic fail? Suck it down! Suck it down! Suck it down! Alright, alright, just don't shoot me, bro. God freaking dang it. Now I'm going to have to try and turn into a teeth guy to bust out of here. What? Wait. <laughs> What's so funny, idiot? Well, even if we all got arrested, at least you still got the karma you deserve, friend. I don't deserve any of this, Daphne. I'm the concussion beast, and they should have known better than to try and detain me. Because this whole jail cell is going to be destroyed and broken out of within the next hour. Also, what the heck did the rest of you do to get thrown in here? There was security camera footage of us stealing that boat. Are you telling me you're in here for another reason? Yeah, about that. I tried stealing a historic ferry boat to go on my own personal intoxicated cruise, but I accidentally reversed it and crashed it immediately. Zerinx, like that's crazy bro. It sure is. I hope they can save that ship after you messed it up. You know what, friend? It's actually your fault that we're all in here. If you hadn't made us all steal that small boat, none of this would have happened. I didn't make you do crap, Daphne. You all went along with it. And you know what? When I get out of here, I'm going to make sure you're still trapped in the cell. Wait, I'm literally in jail right now. Of course you are, duck. What? <laughs> I just came to the realization that I'm literally in freaking jail. What if I don't get out for a long time? No, 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 no. I mean, seriously, jail for this of all things? I never thought I'd be in jail for stealing a boat. I thought I might get arrested if you guys found out I was selling all the stuff in the house to buy the latest iPhone while making it look like someone was robbing us. But I never thought I'd be locked up for being part of a boat theft. Hold on a second. Did I just... Are you freaking serious right now? I should have known. I should have freaking known it was you all along. Thanks a lot for always screwing me over to buy yourself stuff. Holy crap. Wait, I'm a teeth guy now. That means I'm getting the frick out of here with my infinite strength. See you next time, viewers. Like I thought you said not to break the fourth wall. Shut up.